Hello, welcome to PLTW Miniature Train Project. How to make the wheel. Wheel's tricky, so be ready to hit pause and rewind a lot. Uh, what we're basically going to do is make a profile and then revolve it. Um, it's, it's tricky. As I say in almost all my videos, first thing I would do is save and make sure you have this. Number of people who have lost things is kind of astonishing. I've actually already created a wheel, so I'm going to... That was loud. I'm going to draw over it and uh, just start from scratch. So, let's go into a plane, and this is very, very dicey. I'm going to make a center line and come out here. One. And then I am going to offset that line up and down the thickness, which is 0 0.12, uh, half the thickness. 0 0.125, 0 0.125. Let's zoom in a little bit. This is where we're going to be playing. I need a line here to tell my computer what to um, revolve around and what to work off of. So now I will offset it. And it's already decided to be a pain. And let's do all that. Cancel. Oh, no. Oh, no. Let me offset that. No, nope, it won't. Did no offset did that. I wonder if I can split. No, I don't want to do that. All right. So I have to come out a certain amount. The hole in the very center has a diameter of 0.28. So we want to come out half of that. So I just let the CAD do the work for me. And then we go up at 90. And then I'm also going to go down at 90. Now, I would normally do this a little bit differently, but I want to start showing you what's going on here because it's very hard to see. So this is the hole in the center of the wheel, so we trim off the edges. And then it's... Um, you know, I'm going to do those later. And I think I know why. Um, yeah, so actually I'm not going to show you what's going on. This has to be offset over, so it's 0 0.25 from the center, minus that hole, 0 0.28 slash 2. So go over a little further. All right. Uh, and I got one more line to draw over, so I'll do that. 0 0.75 from the center. So we will offset from here again. And that will be 0 0.75 minus 0 0.28 slash 2. And it vanished. So I just screwed up somehow, so let's go fix that. So it's supposed to be 0 0.75. Yeah, that was right. Minus 0 0.28. That's the hole in the middle. Divided by 2. Because that's where I'm drawing the line from. There we go. And... Almost time. Yeah, I think we can actually start working on this. Let's throw a circle in on the end. And let's trim off the edges. Good. Let's split this one here, right here. And let's trim off the edges. And that is something like the shape that we're going to go with. Now it has a ton of... Uh, Fillets in it. We call it fillets in my class because it sounds funny. 
um, and they are all at a radius of 0 0.0625. No, they're at different radii. No, 0 0.0625, because I did the end ones already. 0 0.0625. So, fly, should have tabbed there. Here to here. Here to here. Here to here. This one's square down here. This one doesn't get a fly. Fill it, pardon me. And that should do it. So it comes up. Didn't want to fly here. Cancel. I need to erase this one. And I need to extend lines. Give me a hard time, so I'm not going to mess with it. Just going to come straight up. And I'm going to come straight over. So notice, I don't undo everything. A lot of students do. Oh, I made a mistake. I have to undo everything. I just got to fix it. Um, okay. Let's make anything. Nope. I was going to see if there's any line in the middle that I got to get rid of. That should be fine. I should be able to revolve that. Double check. Up. Over. Smidge. Down. And then... Up, around, back. Should do it. So we're just revolving this, this whole thing around this line. And we've got our wheel. Now there's more to do, of course. Um, we have to cut some holes on the back side. So start a sketch. And it's a little particular about how it does this. So let's just go out here at 15 degrees. And then it says to go at 30. Well, I'm just going to rotate. Rotate U. Pick the center point. Make a copy, and it's giving me a pretty hard time, so I don't know what's going on there. Let's try to rotate again, and let's set it up. I want to copy. I want to go 30 degrees. Tab. I hit enter last time. Let's select what I'm rotating, and let's select the center point and see if it stops giving me such a hard time. And it does apply. So now I have my 30 degrees. Now there's two circles that set the inner and the outer things I need to carve out. So this one is 0.375 radius. So multiply times 2. And this one is 0.65. And that's again a radius, so multiply by 2. And there's the, the thing we're looking for. We've got to trim it all down to size. Bye. See ya, see ya, see ya, see ya. Okay, now we can uh, circle copy this now, or we can do it in 3D. I always do it in 3D, there's no particular reason. It just works for me. I want to extrude a cut right there. So cut it all the way through. Yep. And then, this lovely little pattern. I'm picking that as my feature. And this is my rotation axis. And I need six of them. I was already set on six. Boom, we got six holes. All right. There's the wheel. With one exception, it's got this little thing on there. So, I believe I need to work on this face right here. Now it's between holes directly. So I'm going to go up here and put it on top. It shows it on the side, but it doesn't really matter where you put it. Uh, we need to locate it by radius, and it goes out 0 0.7, um, so we have to multiply that by 2. And I can't even see the circle. Isn't that interesting? It's right there, hard to see. And 
I need to draw a line. Actually, I don't. I can just go right in there. No, nah, I don't trust this. Okay, I can't see it. Got to be careful. All right, now we're going to make a circle on that spot right there. And this is the bottom circle. It has a diameter of 0 0.25. Okay, and we're going to extrude out from that spot. So I'm done with my sketch. Extrude. Cancel. Extrude. Got it. And it should extrude out 0.375. feel like that's wrong. Nope, that's good. That was tricky. Now we start a sketch on here. And we need a circle that is 0.125 in diameter. And it's got a hole down the middle, um, but not all the way down the middle. So we have to extrude that. Lots of bouncing back and forth here. And we extrude that 1.125. And then we start a sketch on that face, put a circle in the middle of it, and it is a 0 0.0625, 0 0.0625 diameter, and then we extrude a hole cut into that. cut and we want to go down 0 0.25 that's it we're done pretty cool good luck with that very very detailed very challenging work to do um, watch a video hit pause rewind and whatever you need to do good luck